Hello and welcome at Thomas Geiger Car, today with the upcoming electric flagship of the Hyundai brand. After Kia has launched the EV9, Hyundai don't want to stand behind and is launching the Ionic 9, another three-row luxury SUV for the Generation E. If you want to know all about the car that has its world debut right now at the LA Auto Show and will hit the European roads early next summer, Join me in my first walk around here at Thomas Geiger Car. As always, Hyundai is using the Pixel scheme to make this car electric and ionic. So we have the Pixel in the headlights, we have the Pixel in that light bar over here, the car has Pixels over there and for sure it has the Pixels also in the back. And for its huge size, it is very aero efficient because Hyundai has reduced the design to the maximum. Very little lines, very sleek, making the car look like a mixture between a whale and a spaceship. And the whale is quite a good indicator for the size. It is one of the biggest Hyundais ever built. 5 meters 6 in length and the wheelbase is 3 meter 13. No Hyundai ever before had a wheelbase of that size, giving you an immense amount of space in the interior. And that's what we're going to look for next. So come on, join me, hop in the car and we'll see how it looks like. Seen from the driver's seat and looking towards the front, the Ionic 9 feels pretty familiar because we have the same cockpit as in all the Ionic models. We have that very slim and lightly curved double digital display over here. We have the steering wheel with that big knob that in the old world would be the gear lever. We have some pedals for the regen levels and we have a common layout in the cockpit. If we look to the rear, for example, with the rear view mirror, we see something totally different. We see space, space and space. The car is just huge. It has three seat rows and two different configurations. Either like this vehicle, five seats in the back, or you get two captain chairs in the second row that you can swivel around while the car is parked. So if you want to have a chat with the, all the other passengers, it's easy to turn them around and have a sit-in family style. If you fold down the rear seat, you have a luggage capacity of more than 1300 liters. And if it comes to the small bits and pieces, that you have to carry along on a journey, it's even more versatile, especially with this center console. It, never, it does not only have a lid that opens towards the one side or the other and is accessible from the front and from the rear. No, in the five-seater version, you can also slide it back for about that length and make it even more accessible for the rear seat passengers. When it comes to driving, we'll just wait until we sit in the prototype and get some more details. When it comes to comfort, we have some cool features that are common with the Koreans and some that are brand new. Common, for example, is the UV sanitation compartment. Since Korea has learned a lot during the Corona pandemic, they installed some UV lights in a special compartment where you can put in your phone and your key or your wallet and can sanitize it with a push of a button. And since this car is made for really long distances, Hyundai has invented a new comfort feature for their seats. For the first time ever, they're offering a very special massage with cushions, with vibrations, with certain points of pressure that make you relax and that make time and distance go by in an instant. Well, the car is just celebrating its world debut at the LA Auto Show. We're here in the California desert test driving a late prototype. So that gives me the chance to give you at least a few first impressions of the way the Ionic drives and behaves on the road. Since it's a family cruiser long distance car, it's all about comfort and all about driving relaxed and chilled. That's the reason why Hyundai invented a new seat massage 
with decent pressure points with vibrations that makes the time fly by and you can eat the miles by the minute. Talking about mileage, the car is equipped with 110 kilowatt hours, 800 volts battery. It's about 10% more capacity as the Kia EV9 and that pays off with a range that is about 10% higher than in the Kia. We're talking about a WLTP range of 630 kilometers at least. That is what Hyundai is promising. And even if they don't disclose precise charging figures, they're promising 10 to 80 percent in 24 minutes. If that's true, this car is really a long distance cruiser. Power is provided by a motor at the rear axle that has 160 kilowatts. If you upgrade to all wheel drive, you get another 70 kilowatts at the front axle. And if you take the performance model, you have two times 160 kilowatts or an old currency almost 440 horsepower and you have 700 newton meters of torque enough to play with the more than 2.5 tons of the vehicle and to accelerate pretty quick 0 to 100 in a little more than 5 seconds top speed 200 kilometers per hour and since Hyundai is claiming the Ionic 9 to be a very very versatile and very useful car they also increased towing capacity. Up to 2.5 tons can be towed. Enough for a small boat, your caravan or your horse trailer. Thanks for joining me on that first walk around of the new Hyundai Ionic 9 and the test drive of the prototypes. As far as I can tell by now, this car is really the logical follow-up of the classical family van the soccer mom's car of the electric age. And it really impresses me how this car handles if you consider the size and the weight. Will it make a huge impact? Yes, definitely in the US and maybe also in China or Korea. Will it have a big footprint in Europe? I doubt and that's not a matter of pricing because it will be quite attractive. In Germany, it will start roughly at 68,000 euros, which is less than its Kia sibling EV9 and less than the European competition from Volvo to Mercedes and BMW. So yes, it is quite attractive, but it's just too big. And if you consider the registration numbers of the Kias, which are in the low three digit figures per month, I have my doubt that this car will be a huge success. But Hyundai is not only dreaming big, they're also going small. And if you combine the image of the Ionic 9 and the possible success of the small Inster, this story will be a hit story. Thank you, Shishye, Sai Tian, and goodbye.